Hi, it's Helena here from Exams PM, and thank you so much for joining me for another video. I have some really, really, really great information to share with you today. I am going to teach you how you can write your project description in less than 10 minutes using AI. Now, traditionally, to write your project descriptions for your PMP application, this is a task that take PMP candidates somewhere between a couple of days to all the way up to a couple of weeks to complete. But now, you using AI, you can do it faster than ever before. Now, just so that you know, in order to write your PMP application descriptions, you need to first have an overview of what you have done on the project, and then you want to describe how you managed the project using the terminologies from the PMBOK. You need to have three years of project management experience if you have a bachelor's degree or higher, and if you don't, then you need five years of project management experience in order to qualify to write your PMP certification exam. Now, that being said, though, you do not necessarily need the job title as a project manager in order to qualify, but you need to be doing project management tasks and activities in order to qualify to write your PMP. And then if you meet these eligibility requirements, you need to prove it to PMI. And how you do that is you need to fill all of the projects you have managed in the past eight years into your PMP application and PMI will review it and then approve you to write the exam. As soon as they approve you, then you have an entire year from the date that they approve you to write your entire exam. So Writing the rest of the application is actually pretty simple, but writing the application description, this is probably the hardest part. For every single project that you manage, you have 500 words to describe what this project is about and what you've done on the project. Now, what I see a lot of candidates mess up on is they ended up talking mostly about what this project is and don't focus on what they have done on this project. And this is a big no-no because the whole point of writing this application is to make sure that you have the necessary experiences in order to qualify and write this exam. So I just tell candidates, just do a high-level summary, and then the rest of the application, focus on what you have done using the terminologies from PMBOK. Now, AI is a really hot topic right now, and I'm sure you may have heard of it, and you're wondering what it is and how do we use it. So today, we're actually going to put AI to use in a real scenario where it can really benefit your life. So what we're going to do is go onto ChatGPT, and the website is chat.openai.com. Once you get onto the site, they're going to ask you whether you want to create create an account if you're a new user and it's completely free or log in if you are an existing user. So this is a brand new account over here. And whenever you create new chats, they will populate on the left hand bar right here. And here is where you will give chat GPT your command or otherwise known as a prompt. So when you're writing a prompt, they can either write a single line prompt or a multi line prompt. And I'm going to show you how to do both. So in a nutshell, though, a single line prompt is like you're going to tell chat GPT how to do everything all at once. And a multi-tier prompt is when you separate your instructions into multiple commands. And there is benefits to using both, but it's good to learn both techniques. So if I was writing, let's say my project is that I am creating a software for an e-commerce store. First, I'm going to use the single line prompt. Then I'm going to use a multi-tier prompt. I am a project manager working on developing a SaaS program for e-commerce store owners, right? I want you to write a project description in less than 500 words using the terminologies from the PMBOK guide. What's cool about AI is that it's not just searching the internet for databases. It, in a way, actually has like a brain that thinks and can write new content, new and unique content for you. And so in this example, I'm telling ChatGPT what kind of projects I have managed, what 
the project is about. And I told ChatGPT that I want to write a project description for that. And I told them to use the terminologies from the pinball guide to do it. So let's take a look at what ChatGPT have written. Okay, so it's actually pretty good. So it's telling me as a project manager for the development of a SaaS as a service program for e-commerce store owners, my roles and responsibilities encompass various areas. I probably would change this a little bit. I would probably wouldn't say as defined by the PMBOK guide. I would just say this project is about developing a SaaS program that will help e-commerce store owners sell their products. I was the project manager on this project and here's what I've done, right? A question I get asked is like, do you need the headers on your PMP application description? And this is really optional. It's up to you if you wanted to separate your application descriptions into different sections, such as initiation, planning, execution, monitoring, controlling, and closing. In this case, they did the five process groups and then they also separated out into stakeholder management and quality management. And it's up to you if you want to use those headings or if you just want to break your application down into paragraphs. So ChatGPT here wrote, during project initiation, I played a critical role in defining the project objectives, conducting feasibility studies, identifying stakeholders and obtaining necessary approval. So because we told it to up here to use terminologies from the pinball guide, this is exactly what ChatGPT has been doing in the description. So you can see like identifying stakeholders. This is a terminology from the pinball guide along with conducting feasibility studies. This is all terminologies from the pinball guide, right? We can see in planning, ChatGPT said, I develop comprehensive project plan, including the project's scope statement, schedule, budget, quality management plan, resource management plan, communication plan. You can see that it's already populating the terms from the pin box here into your description. The key thing is you have to tell ChatGPT to put terminologies from the pin box here. Now let's do another example. And another thing you need to know about ChatGPT is before it generates the next response, it's actually read everything I have above in order to generate the new response. And if you don't want ChatGPT to do that, then you can go ahead and click new chat up here and it will start a brand new chat. So I'm just going to start a brand new chat right now to illustrate to you how you can use multi-tier prompt. So Let's say that we are a construction project manager and over the past two years, we have constructed a tall building, let's say 15 floors. Okay, so I am a construction project manager. And if we're doing multi-tier, you can ask ChatGPT if it understood what you say. So I would say, do you understand to make sure that they understood the assignment? Great, so ChatGPT here is telling me that it understood what this project is about. You can see that there's a lot of NLP or natural language processing here. You're not just interacting with the bot, but based on what you're saying, it's giving you unique inputs, which is just kind of like, if you think about it, it's really mind blowing that it is artificial intelligence doing all of this, right? Then it would generate. So, and if you do not like the output that you have gone, what you could do is wait for it to finish generating. Then down here, press regenerate response. But if you press regenerate response, it's going to erase everything that it have just written. So if there's portions of what you liked from what ChatGPT has generated, then what I would recommend is copying everything, putting it into a Google Doc, and then having it generate again so you have some fresh content to pull from. So if we take a look now at the new project description, this is an example of a multi-tier prompt, right? So I told ChatGPT what my project was about first, and then I told it to write a summary. You can see from this output, the ChatGPT didn't put all the headers like initiation, planning, execution, and it's really optional. You know, you can do it one way or the other. It's really up to what you prefer. The ChatGPT has put in terms or in the pin box here. The project commenced with comprehensive initiation 
phase, which involved identification of project objectives, stakeholders, establishment of the team. Yeah, this is really good. Following the initiation stage, the project entered into the planning stage, which involved the development of a comprehensive project I would probably say project management plan. That's probably the only thing I would edit there. Instead of saying the project manager, I would probably say I skillfully employed project management tools such as the WBS, Gantt chart, critical path method, schedule task, allocate resources and defined milestones. For example, you didn't do any critical path method on your project. Just take that out and fill it in with something that you did do. And if you wanted to give ChatGPT more information about like what you have done, feel free to do that in the beginning and ChatGPT would know to fit in the specific tasks that you have done onto your description. The crazy thing about AI is that it actually understands grammar and language in a way that it is able to read what you have written and be able to write back to you things that actually make sense that you could actually use. So because you wrote the prompt that generated this text, so you actually do own this text from a legal perspective, and you could actually use this in your PMP application because it is unique pieces of content here. Now, that being said, if you have run a agile project before, you could also ask ChatGPT to put agile terminologies into it. So if we went back to our previous example of developing the SAS program, we can say, write the project description again using more agile terminologies. So this is what I mean when I say that ChatGPT can actually read what you have written before, because if I started a new chat and I just wrote, write a project description, again, using agile terminologies and pinball terminologies, ChatGPT would be really confused. But what it's actually doing before it generates these responses and it's happening in seconds, guys, it's actually reading what I've written before. So it knows that I am a project manager for the SAS program. And because of that, it knows like what to start writing from here, right? So let's see what I have written this time. You can see because I told it to put in more agile terminologies here, it now puts you know, prioritize backlog of user stories into here. I work closely with the product owner to create the product that aligned with the project objectives and ensure the agile team had clear understandings of the vision. See, there you go. That is how you can use chat GPT to write your upcoming PMP application descriptions. The last thing I would say to you is that before you submit your applications, make sure you get your contact person to just read it over and make sure they're okay with it. So your contact person is either your manager, your client, or anyone who will work with you on that project. This is the person that PMI can contact or get in contact with if they have more questions about your roles and responsibilities on your project. This usually happens when you are audited. The chances of getting audited is usually not that high. I would say probably 5%-ish plus minus 2-3% of applicants get their applications audited. If you are audited, all of the contact person you listed for all of your projects will be contacted and they have to verify that you have done everything that you have listed in your project description. Now, a thing I hear really often is what if I have switched jobs? And that is totally okay. You can use your contact person's personal email and they don't have to be working on the same project that they were working at at the time when you are working at that a specific project right? They could be at another company and that's totally okay. They can still verify your experiences, but you do need to list at least one contact person for every single project description that you write. And this person does not necessarily need to be your manager, but it needs to be someone who has worked with you and can verify that you have done the work that you have outlined in your project description. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot and I'm sure using this technique, it will help you write your PMP application so much faster. You can get it done within the next half an hour using chat GPT. So hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. And I will see you in my next YouTube video. Bye for now.